Now, what you've all been waiting for, the results. So, the plates are lined up, left to right, uh, most bacteria grown to least bacteria grown, or in this case, killed. And now, first off, we have the H2O. It did the best, it was the best environment for the bacteria. Then we have the negative control, which was the 3 milliliters of BHI with 400 microliters of uh, listeria, non-virulent, um, and it was in the fridge all night before being incubated. Uh, so this should have been the starting point of the bacteria. And then this is the H2O plus sugar, which actually did worse than the H2O itself. Then the coke, which was more acidic. And then these two, H2O plus sugar plus HCl, H2O plus HCl. In this case, the sugar didn't make a difference both of these guys um, were dead. They were just, it was, there was no way that the bacteria could survive. Listeria can only survive in 5.6 pH uh, minimum. And these were at 1 because there was a whole lot of HCl in there. Uh, they're gone. Um, but there were other plates as well. As you can see, these were some dilutions made to help compare. Uh, and, and contrast where each uh, um, plate would be qu qualitatively compared to each other. And um, the H2O, I'll let you see there, um, I don't know if you can see that, actually had so much bacteria that you can't even see the bacteria with a camera. You have to look really closely and even then I don't think this is powerful enough to handle that. There was just so much bacteria, there was no space in between. You'll have to take my word for it, because um, this is the H2O concentrated, and I'll just give you a look at what the 1000X looked like. This is H2O 1000X. It was 1000 times less powerful than the H2O, and you can see all that bacteria. So just imagine now, uh, without any dilution, this thing is dirty. Put that back there. Now. It was actually about 10 times, the H2O actually had 10 times as much bacteria as the negative control. Um, the negative control was in the fridge at 4 degrees Celsius. So it's suspected that there may have been some slow growth because back, um, the steer can survive as long as there's uh, liquid water. And um, this stuff. Uh, was at 4 degrees Celsius overnight, so it should have been able to survive. Um, the pH was there. It was, it was overall a pretty good place for bacteria to stay alive and probably not grow too much, but they survived. Now the H2O plus sugar is interesting. Normally you would suspect that it would be better growing environment than the H2O, but what happened was, and I'll cite this later, um, uh, listeria aren't used to sucrose, which is what I use. I use table sugar. And uh, in an article, uh, listeria were, were introduced into egg yolk, and that has 25% uh, sucrose. And uh, at 4 degrees Celsius, they survived well enough. But at 22 degrees and higher, which is the environment that this guy was in, um, there was actually a reduction in bacteria for an initial point, so this so this plate actually um, grew less in the H2O, but perhaps given more time, uh, it would have been able to uh, switch on the sucrose uh, pathways and um, been able to survive longer. So maybe in, uh, say, three days, four days, it probably would have beaten the H2O, but we won't know for sure in this experiment. All we know is that, um, that it had enough, all we know is that um, the sucrose did not immediately uh, allow for very much uh, bacterial, bacterial growth. And then uh, the Coke had sugar, and uh, it grew a little bit less grew a little bit less than the, and that's a lot, but it grew less than the H2O plus sucrose because the acidity was at 2.5 and like I said, Listeria likes 5.6 to 
below about 7.8 or something. So this was well below that, and uh, it it held on because it wasn't it wasn't as much as one pH, which is these guys, and these guys are just barren dead, you know. So overall, I would say that um. First, you would need the right type of food source before you would be able to um, see any growth. You can't just add listeria into sucrose and expect, you know, a lot of colonies immediately. And then um, H2O showed very little growth, actually, compared to what it should have had um, if it was in BHI um, all night at 37 degrees Celsius, because um, at 4 degrees it didn't grow very much and at and in H2O it just grew ten times as much which isn't very good uh, if, it, if you want to grow bacteria so I'd say uh, for the, the most detrimental to bacterial growth is pH of course when you get to one pH it's just gone and then you would need the right type of food source and uh, temperature I'd say is uh, least important, although that wasn't really a factor. We did have different temperatures going on, and temperature didn't really uh, uh, hurt it that much. Anyway, uh, this is what we've had. I'll run by the, the OD600 numbers again. H2O is well in the lead with 0.233. Um, uh, H2O plus HCl is 0 0.002, and um, H2O sugar HCl is 0 0.001, so they're the same, they're just dead. And then the sugar plus H2O, no, the BHI is at uh, 0 0.058, so a pretty distant second place. And then a little even farther behind in third place is the H2O sugar, and again that's because it was sucrose and listeria um, don't immediately uh, like to grow in sucrose. So uh, these are the results. And uh, that's about it. There's the bench, and there's the experiment.